curiosity and inspiration. Our mission state, we're trying to create curiosity and inspire our audiences. But how do we measure curiosity and inspiration? Is anyone out there directly measuring for curiosity and inspiration? Good. Apologies to cat lovers. I love data. Lots of data is our go-to measurement technique. But hard data, cold numbers, it's too sterile. What, what can we use to measure the awesomeness and fluffiness of curiosity and inspiration? Analysis, Mr. Spock. We preach to our leadership to make data-driven decisions. We create dashboards to demonstrate how well we're doing. But who is really looking at those dashboards? Does I no one gives a shit about those numbers, seriously. We look at dwell times and eye tracking and visit duration to figure out if we're cre creating meaningful engagement. But we're not measuring for curiosity and inspiration. We're nose diving into meaningless measurement. Here's what's going on in our galleries. What heat map stories are going on here? Mr. Blue Jacket's dwell time is long. Is he curious? Is he le uh, learning? Is he inspired? Headphone kid, sat there. His dwell time is long, but is he curious? Is he inspired? We need to think different. A new way to measure success, to cut through the cold data and hard numbers and dwell times and visit duration and bounce rates. Let's start measuring for curiosity and inspiration using the angle of curiosity and the open jaw of awe. Yeah. This is the angle of curiosity. <laughs> Mr. 80's haircut, he's curious, we can see it. It's obvious, he's leaning into inspiration. His curiosity dial is turned up. Forget your big data. One angle tells it all. Here's the museum professional version of the angle of curiosity. This is the Getty. Curators, conservators, and a director compete to outdo each other in the angle of curiosity pissing contest. It works with kids and technologies too. It's universal, but we need to establish standards and benchmarks. I propose a scale from mildly curious through acutely curious to obtusely curious, get it? To the gold standard, total curiosity mind fuck. The angle of curiosity has been around for decades. Fact, the first documented angle of curiosity coincided with the first installation of interpretive technology. Before that, there was no curiosity in our galleries. <laughs> we can measure the technology too. We have the technology. The Cleveland Museum of Art is the pioneer. I guarantee 20 people in this room could code for this and I know two of them will do it tonight in, back in their rooms. But, for such an important metric, can there only be one measurement? No! We, need, we have a way to measure curiosity, but we need something different to measure awesomeness. Dramatic pause, and that is not a real baby. I present to you the open jaw of awe, a companion measurement to the angle of curiosity, an expression of awesomeness since before even color television. Like the angle of curiosity, it's a single measurement, it's elegant, and it's sublime. The open jaw of awe in action. Recent developments in augmented reality and virtual reality have been responsible for an increase in the open jaw of awe. But is this happening in our museums? I task you with dropping your audience's jaws. We can measure the open jaw of awe, of awe too, when we can use the same standards and benchmarks, the same single angle of measurement, a scale from slightly ajar jaw of awe to the totally dislocated jaw drop of awesomeness. I got it out. But there was failure on the way to, to establishing this metric. I tried the sideways gaze of a maze. Unfortunately, it's a little too subtle to measure and easily confused with the glance of, oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> this means to create curiosity and inspire our audiences, we have to step up our game. We have to stop treating audiences like servile followers. We have to turn them into hardcore fans. And we can do this by not using boring mechanisms to measure success. Let's stop measuring by stalking our audiences. If we measure for curiosity, we'll create curiosity. If we measure for amazing, we'll create amazing things. Let's measure for inspiration and we'll do inspirational things. So, brothers and sisters, fellow museum technologists, let's change what we're measuring. Raise a fist. Forget your heat maps and your Google Analytics, your cold data and your hard numbers. Use the angle of curiosity and the open jaw of awe and go back to your museums and measure for total awesome and curiosity mindfucks. I'm out. Yeah.